feel that's to up Barcelona's advantage, isn't it? Especially the little fellas up. This guy here, who's just over my right shoulder, Messi, yes. this little genius. Yeah, you know, they're so small and they're so quick also. It's very difficult for a big guy, you know, to attack them, to, to nick the ball, because every time you step in, you're making a foul. So therefore, that's the big advantage of these kind of players. But, you know, it's not only about being small, it's also about being very good. And I think that uh, this fellow here, in yes, of uh, Messi, is, is one of the best. So Arsenal have to follow in the footsteps of Sevilla and Ruben Kazan, who are the only visiting sides to win here all season. A little genius himself, that wasn't a decision, that was easy. But... Now Chabi, Bojan had made the run, but he's looked instead to Messi. As Messi looks for a way through... Almost delivers. Oh, that's a super effort. I think the goalkeeper's just pu pushed that puck wide of the goal. Less than five minutes. Goal into action. Super strike. Across the face of the goalkeeper here. Might take a couple of nicks on the way through. Yeah, little nick there. Here's Nasri. Tempted to prod it through to Danielson. But it's Chavi who's picked it up. And here's Lionel Messi. Melito, now Lionel Messi. Pedro might get another lucky break here off Clichy. Hendy did well to get that one away, but only as far as Messi! Onto the roof of the nets. Well, there's an example of having to get to this little man as quickly as you possibly can. Because if you don't, this is what he's capable of. Very, very close. Or maybe you seem to be across, you seem to be over at this. Hand goes up in it. Right by Cater, and here's Messi. Just a rush to run at defenders. Well, they were being written off in all quarters after that first game, particularly to the man who's already scored. And Barcelona off the hook then. Can they make the most of their good fortune? It's Lionel Messi. And Messi steps up to the plate just when Barcelona needed him most. For two minutes they were behind. Barcelona back in the game, back in the contest. Well, they get a bit of luck with this. Not with the finish, of course. It was just absolutely brilliant. The strike, the second one, the first one less so. But I said it before, you have to get to them quickly. 30 yards from goal, you have to. Because he can destroy you here, giving him a warning with a little bendy one that just went over the top of the bar. But the first block's unlucky because it goes straight back to him. This one here, it's a poor ball through and a little deflection and it ends up back at him. Really unlucky, just wrong-footed Mikel Silvestre. But my goodness, what a job he makes of this. You think he's nowhere to go, he's got nowhere to hit it. They think they've got him, they squeezed the space, but look at the gap he hits that ball through. And it's past Almunia before he even moved hardly. Bojan finding Messi. Walcott. Arsenal yeah. had squeezed up and Sanyu was holding his run to stay on side. Sanyu out of position now as Messi looks to break. It's the Nielsen who's covering and holding him up. But he's got away. Left three there trailing in his wake. Sanyu came in the first time, then Danielson came in. Oh, that's not a free kick. Referee, I'm really sorry. You cannot be doing that just because he rolls in the ground. He kind of fought his way through three or four tackles, but certainly from where I'm sitting, this ball looks to be won. A yellow card as well to add insult to injury for Danielson. Just keep your eye on it. Not that one, it's coming in again, there's the tackle, great tackle from Danielson, super tackle, ball's gone away. Messi, well, this time Arsenal. Now again, rosiski has gone the wrong way, and they've spun the ball back into where Gil Clichy's gone, and Rosiski should have played Clichy in, and they might just pay for that. Messi, great control in the first place, and what a run! Into the side netting. Well, let that be a lesson to Thomas Rosicki. You can't have your fullback run past you and you ignore him and lose the ball. And then this happens, because he's capable of doing anything. Lionel Messi.
I guess the only surprise for all of us watching this is that he doesn't make the goalkeeper work because he's done everything else right. Sylvester kept him on his right foot to try and narrow the angle. And succeeded in it. Now Chavi. Here's Abidal. Quickly settling into their rhythm now. It's adopting a more familiar pattern. This is Avidal. Played behind Bojan, surprisingly. Pedro rescues it. Messi! He's turning it on again. The deadly finisher in Spain. Has he finished off Arsenal here? Well, the alarm bells were ringing as soon as that ball was slid through to Eric Avidal. They really got caught. Arsenal. And you just thought, well, that's it, he's going to slide it and he'll score, but he actually didn't play a very good ball in. But with this little man around, nothing's dead, nothing's safe. Not when it drops anywhere near him, it isn't anyway. And he almost single-handedly is turning this game around. That's the ball. Theo Walcott just went to sleep, but that's the poor one. But when it pops out now, that little neck there, and it is, well, it's good night. He's not going to miss that one. Cool as you like. That's the poor ball in. And again, it doesn't really drop for Arsenal in the area. But when it does drop to him, well, it's inevitable, it seems. Another little flick from Pedro. He knows he's there. Cool as you like. Keeper's going to ground. In that case, I'll just lift it over you. Youth Academy here, which has got a yeah, they do. great record. Sort of model that Arsenal look to follow. In fact, they've taken one or two from the uh, Barcelona. Away by Melito. This is Bentner, the man who got the goal. It. That was a poor first touch from Nicholas Bentner. Messi again. Played to the furthest forward that Back time. Back Barcelona, no doubt about that. Should Arsenal go out? And he's in again here, Lionel Messi, could this be the hat-trick before half-time? Oh, brilliant! An audacious chip from the magical Lionel Messi, the most talented footballer of his generation. Well, the noise in the pictures tell you more than I could about what this little man's all about. They get caught awfully, awfully high up the pitch, and the left-back wasn't. The cliches played him on side, but look at that. Just have a look, folks. You are watching a special, special performance, even by this young man's standards. Take your time and just do that. Well, you might not like it if you're a British football fan, but if you're a football fan... You just have to be thinking, this is unbelievable. An incredible fourth hat-trick of 2010 for Lionel Messi. He did it against Tenerife, then he did it... A in tail driver of a, dr a left foot to start with. The delicacy of the right foot for the second. And again, the delicacy of the third. And this could and probably make... Oh! Well, even he can overhit a ball, yeah? <laughs> See, he is overrated. Uh, <laughs> No, I said Messi again trying to play provider this time for Bojan here's Nasri Walcott out wide and he's not getting up you know, look how far he chased back he made the, gave the ball away and yet the little man even with a hat trick he was still good enough and wanted that enough to chase all the way back with Nasri right into deep into his own half he didn't just quit maybe his defeat in the Champions League proper was only 4-1, that was to uh, Spartak Moscow in a group game. So here he goes again, Messi. So he's found Pedro, Messi is in the middle and so too is Bojan. Messi's there! But so too is Almunia. And there's fractions from this. Any touch at all, any touch at all from the little genius. He's further away than it looked. And the ball's in. The player. Lionel Messi, who helped them to a victory over Manchester United. Messi. Xavi. 
Now Bojan. Here's Messi. It's Pedro this time. Bojan. I think they might just push Xabi a little further forward. Almost the Yaya Torre now, Keita. Messi astounded to be asked if his team would uh, try and play for a nil-nil tonight. Not their <laughs> natural way, of course. Has this saying that it's uh, more of a risk if you don't take risks. Xavi. Messi. Busquets. He'll be doing his level best to try and break it up. Taking a quick free kick here, and the referees let them get on with it, and Pedro misses the target. Now that would have completely finished the game off, just turned their back on it. Arsenal. I guess there's a difference. He's going to be a truly great player, and one who might be four. Look at those four players. Barcelona shots all around the ball, that high up the pitch. No resting on laurels, even with the lead that this man Messi has given them. Well, off head. It's Messi. Here's Xavi. Messi. Little sloppy at the back, Arsenal. Alves. Never been done in the Champions League era. Here's Messi. Here he goes again. Can he do it all on his own here? Vermaelen holding him up. It was uh, Sanya in the end who proved the obstacle too many for Lionel Messi. Oh, that, that would have been his cherry on the icing on the top of the cake, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a little glimpse of the footwork of Lionel Messi in the opposite area, but he tries one there, this one here, he's coming back on his left side again as Vermaelen goes to ground. He just gets enough of the ball that he almost got through. Well, if Arsenal are to avoid five trophy lists, Xavi. Now Lionel Messi, it'll be fascinating. Years ahead of Arsenal in their ability and the way that they win the ball back. It could be through for a fourth here, Lionel Messi. They're trying to contain him. But it's an impossible task. This man is just unstoppable. Four for Barcelona, four for Messi, and they are in the last four. Jose be warned, the skill of the little magician. He's coming to get you. And how. Manuel Ibui just tucks around there far, far too much. But even then, he's got still got so much to do. Look, don't panic. OK, I won't. And Arsenal now well and truly put to the sword. I think what they have done more than anything, Barcelona, they've exposed the deficiencies in Arsenal. Going into a game, two games against this team with those kind of players missing. Well, even at 22, there's not a lot that Lionel Messi hasn't done, but for the first time in a single match, the European and World Player of the Year has scored four goals. See, Rob, they won't be as open, they won't be as easy to play against. They are a hugely experienced team with a lot of seats to watch. And then him, any team... Arsenal then fall at the quarter-final stage, beaten by the European champions, who showed exactly why they are European champions. Recovering from the setback of Nicolas Bentner's goal, it took them just three minutes, and then it was the Lionel Messi show. Not content with a hat-trick, he got a full two minutes from the end, and it's a mouth-watering semi-final clash with Inter that they've set themselves up for. Barcelona 4, Arsenal 1, 6-3 to Barca on aggregate. Absolutely stunning. Genius. Pure genius.
else can you say? Arsenal ripped apart by the young lion, Lee Messi.